defensive end. It's kind of been hit and miss for Keith Gambrot's ball club offensively. Hey, you can't lose Nick Dial, Cedric Middleton, and Jeremiah Wood and not feel it. Exactly. That's over 3,300 points career-wise. And, you know, I mentioned that Nate Linhart would probably be on the floor. I was saying it in jest six times. I meant diving after loose basketballs. He is an obvious pain here as uh, the referees will stop action as Keith Dambrod is going to go check on uh, the senior, Nate Linhard out of Gahanna, Ohio. Heart and soul of this basketball team. Kind of gave him a little right cross. Did Chris Singletary give yeah. him a shot in yeah. the abdomen? Sure did. I think he did. Yeah. And, and you know what? And I, I don't if that's the case, and we'll maybe look at another angle, there's no place for that for Chris nope, Singletary. I agree. I agree. He's too good a basketball player to do something absolutely absurd like that. There's no place for that for Chris Singletary. I None. agree wholeheartedly with you. Cheap shot. And the officials are actually looking at it. They're going to review it to see what happened. Well, you know what? Kent State walking a real fine line here because this, this could be something that will uh, impact Geno Ford's ball club. Look at Singletary. Linhart in the air. Boom. Gives him a shot with, uh, with a fist. Yeah. And this Akron bench is upset, and rightfully and so. And rightfully so. You're right. I mean, any, anywhere from a flagrant foul to being tossed, boom, catches him right there on the way up where he can't protect himself. As we look at it again, Keith Dambrot uh, just went over and said something to uh, Chris Singletary. I'll tell you what, that's walking a very precarious line here in the, the, a minute and eight seconds into this one. There, there's, no, there's no need for that. There's no use for that. And Chris Singletary is too good a player to do something like this. Uncalled for. I agree. Absolutely uncalled for. You know what? If Chris Singletary gets get uh, gets expelled from this one, you know Geno Ford and his ball club just gonna have to live with it. Yep. Boom. I mean that, that was an accident. Shouldn't happen. No, no that's that not, is accidental. not accidental. Right in front that's of the official as well. Shouldn't happen. It Bam. should not happen. Right, right in the ribs. He's out of here. Tossed him out. Well, this officiating trio, and uh, you'll get a very negative reaction from uh, this partisan Kent State crowd at the Max Center. But uh, you know, there, there's just no, there's no reason for that. Absolutely no reason for it. Yeah, he's, he's been tossed. That's it. See ya. First minute of the ball game. Cheap foul. Now, if he just has his hand flat and he comes across, instead he has it. And bam! He just punches him. No question. Chris Singletary has uh, been ejected from the game for throwing this uh, cheap shot of a punch at Nate Linhart when he was exposed and in the air in a baseline. So you're talking about the uh, the 12th leading scorer in the MAC, 12 plus points per game. Guy shooting 43 percent. Watch this. Great work from the camera crew. Bam. No question. No question. So Chris Singletary is gone for the day. And this young man, you know how much I've extolled his virtues, love his game. He's a terrific talent. And uh, I'm sure if he had to do that over again, he'd think better of it because that risk certainly not worth the outcome for Kent State. So Chris Singletary will exit one minute and eight seconds into it. So Brett McKnight comes off the bench. Brett McKnight, one of the top six men in college basketball, 6'6 sophomore, twin brother of uh, Chris McKnight out of uh, Lancaster, Ohio. Knocks them both down. This is, you know what? Right off the bat, the motion, 
you, you can see you know, how, how much of a rivalry game this really is. And I agree with you. We were talking about this before the game. The rivalry.